Need a good explanation of rational exponents? Watch this video. Let's get started. And you need to know basic exponents. You need to know the exponent rules. And if right now you're saying, what? Uh, don't panic, because on my channel, there are several videos that you can go and watch that will help you get exponents and the exponent rules uh, mastered. Uh, follow the links in the description. And you will learn in this video what a rational exponent means and how it works. A rational exponent, what is it? A rational exponent is a fractional exponent where the numerator is the power and the denominator is the index. And we would write it as a radical with m as the power and n as the root or the index. How does it all work? Well, we know that the square root of x squared is x, but it can also be written as a rational exponent. And remember that a square root actually has a two over there. And so then we can take and write this as two over two, which reduces to one. And therefore we have x to the first power, which is x. Let's look at another example. We have the cubed root of 27 equals three. Let's look at that as a fractional exponent. First, we'll change 27 into the cube root of three, then write it as three over three, and note where the numerator is and where the denominator is. That equals three to the first power, or three. How about the cube root of 16? Change the 16 and two to the fourth power. We would rewrite that as two to the four thirds. Remember again, the power is the numerator and the root or index is the denominator. Some common examples. Take the cube root of x to the fifth power and write in exponential form. So let's write down the x, our fraction line, the power goes in the numerator and the index goes in the denominator. And there you have it. Let's do another example. We have uh, the sixth root of n. So write our n and our fraction line. The power is actually one. We don't write ones, but we know that is to n to the first power. So we'll put one in the numerator and six in the denominator. And we have n to the one sixth. So now let's go the other way. Let's write in radical form. We know that uh, x to the 5 thirds, we can write uh, the radical sign and x, put the five in as the power and the three in as the index or root. So how about a few complex examples? Just a little bit more difficult. Simplify. So here we have the fifth root of x squared quantity to the third power. And we want to take and write this uh, in a simplified form, which means pretty much get it down into a nice uh, fractional uh, exponent. So let's write our x, put our uh, fraction line out there and start interpreting it. The first thing we'll do is look at the power. And in this case, we'll look at the x to the square that goes in the numerator. And then we know that the five is the denominator and that's still low in parentheses to the third power. Now we're going to use the power rule because what we have is x to the two fifths to the third power. And the power rule just says that a uh, power to a power, you multiply. So we're gonna have two times three over five and simplify, simplify that to six over five. And our answer is x to the six fifths. Now let's do an equation. Let's solve 125 X to the one third equals five. Well, the first thing I wanna do 
is get rid of the one third by using the power rule. I'll multiply and cube of both sides. And so we'll take uh, one third and cube it, and we'll take five and cube it. Because whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. The threes will cancel out there, and we'll have 125x to the first power. And five cubed is 125. Divide both sides by 125. Cross cancel. And we have x equals 1. And that is a fairly simple solution. All right, recap. We learned what a rational exponent means and worked some problems. Hopefully this will clear uh, some things up for you. Remember, you can always go back and watch it again and dig up some problems and practice them. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and check out some of my other videos. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe.